I knew that gaming monitors were a thing, but I never knew gaming projectors were also a thing. Yes, yes, what's good, people? It's man like Jamal. Now, obviously, big shout out to the guys at Acer for just sending this down for me to check out, have a little review, and let you guys know whether it's worth your time. I never knew that gaming projectors were a thing, fam. 4K gaming projectors. I, bruv, when have you ever heard of that before? Look at the specs here, fam. UHD 4K, yeah? Up to 240 hertz in full HD. Variable refresh rate. Smart satin going on here. HDR10. Um, I don't even know what that is under there. HDMI. This thing is basically a gaming monitor but projector style fam and it goes up to 300 inches or something ridiculous like that so i'm gonna find a wall as big as possible to plug this in but yeah let me just give you a brief rundown of the externals and see what i'm going for io now starting off of the front obviously you got the lens you got a little lens cap that you can just pull off it's attached to a string and you got the 4k bad boy right there predator logo on the side um yeah just above that i'll just show you real quick you've got like a little focus slider kind of dial thing so depending on how far you're projecting you can slide this up and down to make the picture in focus in it now moving to the left hand side here it looks like we've got some ventilation that must be the fans and thing to stop the thing from blowing up on the right hand side i think we've got the same situation going on now on the bottom here they've kept things nice and simple you've got a little clasp for where the lens covers hang in and you've got three rubberized feet fam which you can literally spin and it raises the projector in whichever way you need it to be raised so that your picture is nice and flat fam um you can also unscrew them and plug a quarter of screw thread tripod thing in there um and have your projector on a tripod but this thing might be a little bit too heavy to have on a tripod fam it's wham um but yeah you got three of them they all can be adjusted and thing and you've got more ventilation going on down there now on the top you got some buttons and stuff um you know obviously you can go through the different menus you've got the source button menu button i'll show you some of these menus in a bit kind of thing but this is basically how you're going to be controlling the projector itself i didn't see a remote in the box now i'm not sure i know this is a review unit so i'm not sure if somebody else has run off with the remote but there's no remote in this box and a remote would be very useful for a projector like this so that man can just change the settings without having to actually stand up and touch the thing in it especially if you're planning on hanging it from a ceiling or something um anyway um on the back now in terms of ports and io you got two hdmi 2.0 ports two usb a ports and audio output which is going to be wicked fam especially for when man's plugging in an external speaker and you got the power plug right there as well as some more ventilation things kensington lock and this wireless dongle fam um for i guess connecting it to wi-fi and thing like that but yeah that, that's all the ports and thing guys let's actually get this thing plugged in and show you guys the picture quality all right, so we're plugged in now, lights on and ting, and we got it projecting against my wall. Um, I'm, my wall is not actually big enough for this projection. Let me take off this picture real quick. Okay, so you can kind of see just by the distance that we've got here, how big that is on the wall. That must be like, I don't know, 65 inch, 70 inch kind of thing. These shelves are in the way at the moment. I'm gonna have to find a much bigger wall. I'm gonna try and find that later. But um, yeah, it even looks quite decent, even considering that my window blind things are open, fam. So let me close those real quick. Okay, now we've got the HD thing going on, fam. So as you can see, the thing is Android based, fam. We've actually got a couple of Android apps there already, Netflix. Obviously you can put Disney Plus, Amazon Video, them things on there as well. They'll show up in 4K. Um, you've got your little apps list in the bottom right there file management if you've just got pure video files that you want to play directly from the unit itself um, wireless display that's from connecting your phone or your tablet or mobile device to this display wirelessly and then obviously you've got your settings where you've got your android settings and stuff like that all right people then so the setup is now set up i've now got it plugged into my msi ages ti5 gaming desktop and we've got the thing running in 4K at the moment. Can I say one of my favorite features about this little projector here 
is that no matter how you tilt it, it kind of re-corrects itself so that it's always at the correct um, resolution kind of thing. So if I tilt it up now, yeah, you see it kind of snaps into place again. Tilt it down again, snaps back into place kind of thing. Are you, are you not deep in it? So you see that? Boom, snaps back into place. Put it down again, snaps back into place, fam. So I don't know, is it called the ratio? I don't know what it is, but it always looks correct, innit? So let's get down to business. I'm here to play games. Starting off, we've got Tachia. I think this game looks beautiful. Like it's gonna be my go-to game when I'm testing out a gaming laptop or a new gaming device, a gaming monitor, gaming whatever, innit fam? Look how vivid all the colors look fam. Like this game just looks wicked on this projector. I can't believe that it's running at 4K 60. That's mad, let me move on to the next game. Now let's whip up a little piece of Kina Bridge of Spirits because you know say man like me is an official member of the ultra wide master race, yeah? You know man's loving up his ultra wide monitor. So man wondered, can this projector project in ultra wide ratios or resolutions kind of thing? And it can, it looks kind of sick as you can see there. This is obviously clearly much bigger than my ultra wide monitor would be. And it's obviously giving you that horizontal screen real estate that you wouldn't get from a normal 16 by nine projection. However, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly on the camera, but it's actually within a 16 by nine box fam so you're not really fully finessing this projector if you're gonna use it at ultra wide resolutions like obviously it can be done but it's gonna look much nicer when we switch over to 16 by 9 aspect ratio as you can see here where the projection is obviously gonna take up the maximum amount of wall space that is available fam this just looks sick fam Another thing that surprised me playing around with this gaming projector, and I'm gonna show you in a second, is that right now you're seeing the gameplay footage at 4K, albeit I'm shooting at 4K 60 on my phone, but this video timeline is 4K 30. It's, it's hella confusing, but it's for all intents and purposes, it's 4K, in it? Now, man's gonna switch the projection of the game to 1080p and as you can see it still looks really good now i don't know if it's a situation where it's upscaling the 1080p thing to make it look better than it actually is but but for me and my mashup eyes i'm having a hard time of telling from afar which is 4k and which is 1080p because the 1080p actually looks really good when it's being cast over the projector and it's on a wall anyway now at the moment we're getting a maximum 4k and we got it at 60 hertz which is all cool but i heard you can also get 1080p at 240 hertz so we're going to put this down to 1920 by 1080 i can just about see it from here there we go that's all cool keep that as it is and then we're going to see if the 240 hertz option is available on windows and let's go into that and yes it is right there at the top we got 240 hertz on a flipping projector i've i've never heard of it i have never heard of it fam so now that we're down at 1080p 240 hertz i'm gonna see if this higher refresh rate makes me an esports menace yeah makes me a competition pro um i'm not gonna lie short story is that it didn't i'm still quite dead at the game however i could see the smoothness in the frame rate in the refresh rate of this projector um it was it was looking sick fam like man could definitely play competitive role company on this without worrying about too much lag um not enough like response time and them things there fam like as you can see it looked quite decent like i wasn't too mad at it at all now on the acer website page for this projector they said this thing can project up to 300 inches now i don't know how big 300 inches is but i know i traveled around southeast london trying to find the biggest damn wall man found one under one tunnel on ends actually and i thought if i can put the projector on top of my car man can project it on the wall and see how clear the thing looks fam it was wavy fam look at this
This thing has officially gassed me. Imagine I find an even bigger wall, yeah? Me and a man can roll up in the Honda E, plug the projector in, plug the Nintendo Switch in, and get some 300 inch Mario Kart running. If I wanna put my desktop PC in my car, we can get some 4K whatever game running on a massively big wall. Look how big the wall is compared to my car itself. It's ridiculous, fam. This projector is, it's not a lightweight thing, you get it? It's, it's on job. Anyway, guys, let me wrap this thing up here. Not only do gaming monitors exist, but gaming projectors are also a thing as of 2023. I don't even know when this came out, but it's wavy. I can get my 4K 60. Man can get his 1080p 240 hertz if man's trying to do the esports warrior thing. Man can get a nice clear picture, fam. Like a whole 300 inch picture. Like, are we? I don't know if we're deep in it, fam. Like that thing was fully bigger than my car. It was the size of the tunnel itself anyway guys you you saw it here and you, you know what it is man just likes to test these things and see if they're really on job with what they're advertising and as far as i can see this thing is doing exactly what it says on the tin and it big shout out to acer predator for selling this down for me to review and have a little play around with um yeah man i want to see more stuff like this on the channel more stuff i ain't seen before more unusual stuff you get it all right man's out now